bombs here. What's up guys, James Palms here. It's uh, 28 degrees Celsius today or 79, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so 28 Celsius. Uh, it's about five o'clock right now on October 5th or October 6th, I think it is today. So it's October, but awesome summer weather. Uh, not going in the pool, but beautiful summer weather. Got all the palms out. Uh, it was a little bit sunnier earlier. Well, it's still full sun. The angle's getting a little low though for this time of the year, but uh, absolutely beautiful. There's my Mexican fan palm from the uh, series, or this is from the one I just made the video there on uh, for the growing from seed to five years. And this is from the series, these two, but looking great. Look at these guys. They really love the extra, extra growth, warm weather. It's starting to get cooler nights, but definitely still good. Usually uh, tell about growing seasons, about right around Halloween, I gotta start protecting stuff. Uh, but these, some of these palms, the tropical ones can stay out during the day. After this though, some of the stuff's gonna have to come in the potted stuff. And uh, the stuff in the ground is good till, till November. But uh, anyways, yeah, we'll just take a quick yard, full yard update here. Look at these, look at these baby ones. Some of these are getting nice little trunks. There's frond here, frond here, frond here. This a nice little trunk on it these are just the seedlings that planted themselves there from probably from pool water accumulating on that side because this is a hill and from the seeds falling so just coming up on my deck here yeah look at the seeds these birds and squirrels and stuff have been eating they eat all these outside ones they've been loving them loads of seeds pounds of seed if somebody wants some fresh seed i'm going to be getting some seeds off this guy uh, i'll probably harvest them around january Maybe December, I haven't decided. Um, that's a black walnut from that big black walnut tree right there. Give that back to the tree. And uh, yeah, so it's my Mexican fan palm, my Christmas palm doing great. It's about to shed a frond. That's how you can tell when it's getting ready to shed one. I think it's this ratty one from Sun Damage from last year. All the new foliage looks great though. And this one's about to open another frond right now. Oh man, the sun feels so good. 28 Celsius in October here. Beautiful summer weather. These are the, this is another one from one of those videos. And uh, this is my Banana Joe hybrids. These ones are getting pretty big for pots. I got some new pots there for them. Two bigger ones to put them in. And that'll probably be the last pots. They're gonna have to take on different ones. So here's the other. This is a four year old from growing from seed. This trunk is almost exactly the same size. This palm is gonna catch it, which is what I thought. This is my fastest growing. Uh, palm I've ever had uh, and then this is its brother this was this was about on par with that one but it's uh probably didn't grow very much this year because it, it's still in the pot it needed to be repotted it needed to go into the ground or be repotted and I didn't do either because that pot's getting heavy to lift and there's my male looking awesome just great great sorry if you can hear my kids screaming and fighting there they just got home from school some Chinese fan palms. You gotta move your plants around this time of the year, try to put them in different spots so that they're getting sun. This is mostly full day sun where these guys are sitting here. Sun comes up over there and then it kind of it clears. This area here will be getting sun all day till right about now and it's just gonna start walking back from that house uh, as a shade, but beautiful. And this mo this was this is in full day sun, this palm here. Uh, just now it, it gets the shade as the years, as the time of the year, it starts getting afternoon uh, shade earlier. But this thing is looking amazing. I'll actually yeah, put it ridiculous. Over. That's gotta be 12 feet in the air. I can't even, this is me reaching. I can reach about eight feet and that's to about there. So man, this thing is looking amazing. Wow. Look at how many fronds it has on it. Just look in there. You can't, sometimes they're all, a lot of these are laying on top of each other. There's like some of them laying, like a lot of them are laying on top of each other, but look in there. And you can see how many petioles are coming out of there. This thing is friggin' loaded with fronds. And it's still open. And it's probably open like four or five in the last like two weeks. Look at this. Crazy. It's got a big, big, giant, beefy trunk now on it. There it is with my size 16. That's the size 16 US. The trunk is getting massive. I didn't mulch around it this year. I was being lazy. I should have mulched around it. There's my palmetto 
uh, pit where, the, where it once was. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, actually, I got to show you the front. Show you these front palms real quickly. Sorry about the shaky camera. Grass is looking pretty good. Look at these guys. Getting so massive. This top of the front's about nine, eight, nine, five, nine feet in the air. And these are starting to get some afternoon sun on this side of them. Look at that. Still open in front. It's open in three right now. One, two, and three right there. It's open another one. And it's got more in here. And this seed will be ready. This seed's probably almost ready soon too. This one has less seed, but this trunk is out to my hip now. It's got quite a bit of trunk. It doesn't look uh, fat on the video, but it's actually pretty fat for a tractor carpus. Here's my size 16 with the trunk. It's, it's pretty big. And there's the other one right there. Looking great, still opening up fronts. I think it's opening too right now. Looking great. All right, well, any guys, yeah, there's the Pumpkins Road and some fall moms. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More palm tree videos here in Ontario. All right, guys, there's Harley. Harley. She's loving this weather. All right, guys, later. Well, guys, here's some of my smaller stuff. Some little Mexican fan palms and sables and other stuff. But uh, when to repot your sable palmettos? Um, don't wait until they're doing that. The roots are actually lifting <laughs> the plants, the roots and this like the ball, the bottom part of where the growing point is, they'll actually push them out of here. These have been in here for way too long, but uh, you, you see it will never, this part is already higher than the cup. So there wasn't soil there. It just keeps, <laughs> a lot of them push themselves right out of the cups. So uh, yeah. Don't, don't wait till it's doing that. Oh, that's what my bigger one there is doing, the, the bottom part of the palm where the growing point is. It kind of looks like a, the bottom of an onion or something. It kind of pushes down as the palm grows, but yeah. So don't wait till it's doing that. Uh, these are, most of these are palmetto here in this cup here, and they're all really old. They're all, they don't, they just grow really slow when you keep them in a really small pot. Uh, and then these are sable casarium here. These are wider leaf. Cossie arm, Casario, whatever. Anyways, just thought I'd add that in here. Alright guys, later.